you know that by simply uncovering or discovering what the triggers of high blood pressure are you're already more than 50 percent done with finding out exactly how to lower blood pressure naturally which is what most people are always asking or when they lay on the bed at night to sleep or when they're actually asking google what do I do? How do I go about it? What we're going to be sharing with you in the next few minutes on this mini training is 11 different triggers or what you like to call causes of high blood pressure. And of course, when you stay till the end, you're also going to get the opportunity to join us on a full webinar where we go in depth on showing you how over 500 men and women just like you have used this same knowledge of BP triggers to translate it into their best lives in super health. Are you ready? So let's get My name is Pharmacist Chibwa Mami Nichiku. I am the founder of Hypertension Africa and also known as the Hypertension Manager. And what we do is to help you to wake up every morning to normal numbers so that you can enjoy your best life in super health. So let's talk about triggers. But medically speaking, it is important that I do this distinction because the actual cause or what is going to determine the time, the moment, the season when anybody ever develops um, hypertension is unknown. It remains unknown. However, what we do know and what science does know is that there are certain triggers or risk factors that make it easy or that point us to the fact that, oh, hypertension can be looming. And so it is some of these triggers that we need to look at, take a closer look at, find out what they are for you or, you know, and then take it from there. So let's go into it. Now, when you talk about triggers of high blood pressure or causes, there are basically two ways you, we can classify them. We can look at them in terms of the very obvious ones and the hidden ones. Now, the obvious ones are the ones that even you know for yourself that maybe it's the stress that you're having to go through at work that is responsible or some people say it's maybe the kids. So those are very obvious, but the hidden ones are things you never thought about or that you never even knew they were linked. But as we go through the check, you know, as we go through this training, you will immediately understand. So the the second classification is non-modifiable and modifiable. And what this means is non-modifiable, as the name implies, we can't really do anything about them. However, the good news is that for the modifiable, when done right, within the context of some of the things I'll be sharing with you here, or maybe if you're joining us for the webinar, of course, if you find this useful, then you would be able to find that when you focus on working on the modifiable, inadvertently, you would make the non-modifiable non-important non or unimportant. So 11, we promise. So let's start with the non-modifiable. Age. How old are you now? I know this can be very touchy, especially for those of us that feel maybe we feel older. So it could be touchy in terms of, oh, I know it's because I'm 60. That's why. But yes, it is non-modifiable. But on the web reading, you're going to be seeing 60-year-olds, 52-year-olds who have actually used the same knowledge that I'm sharing with you and taking it a step, taking it a step further and are doing so well. So age is a number. The older you get, the higher the risk, but it is nothing to worry about. Second is race. So by simply being African or my color, it increases your risk, the risk for what we're talking about. So what you need to know about this is yes africa has the highest prevalence of the disease and that is why we are focused at hypertension africa but helping africans and indeed the whole world helping to lower these numbers of um cases and also complications that arise due to the disease okay so the next is family history do you know anyone who is related to you who has it now, of course, the closer the ties with this person, the higher the risk. However, it doesn't matter because sometimes people use that as the as the um, excuse to say, okay, there is nothing I can do about it. It runs in my family. But that is still, that is just something you should know that is a risk factor, right? So, but do not worry about that also. 
and then number four is pregnancy now it's both non-modifiable and modifiable in the sense that you can decide not to become pregnant right but it's also non-modifiable in the sense that some women and many women who we've worked with in the past have found that they had hypertension around pregnancy or labor and so of course there's nothing they can do to change that fact that they had it then however with the right tools and you know guides it is possible to even work on blood pressure that was developed around pregnancy which we will show you a lot of that um if you if you do in if you do join us for the webinar training so let's go straight to the modifiable ones so that's where we're going to continue number five from number five stress so if you are always stressed that is a huge trigger okay but not to worry it's doable number seven hormonal contraceptives research has shown that women who take hormonal contraceptives for long periods of time are at higher risk of developing hypertension so that could that could influence what you do with this information number eight body mass index do you know for sure what your body mass index is it is a ratio of your weight to your height so we it has to be taken into consideration. So there is the normal overweight and then obese range. So you have to be able to calculate that. It is your weight in kilograms all over your height in meters squared. Number nine is food. So but when we come, or number eight is food. When, we, when it comes to food, we can still find more than five different triggers in foods. So we're going to separate them. So with foods, we want to look at number one spice of we want to look at the spices so people don't know that the kinds of spices that you're exposed to also have a role to play high salt diet do you eat a lot of salt in your diet i told you about obvious and hidden some of the salt comes hidden in other things maybe your drinks your canned foods and some of all that so that is something to consider high sugar diets now it is not just salt that is responsible white sugar as well has a role to play also high fat diet which is also linked to high cholesterol diet if your diet is rich in cholesterol rich foods then there is an issue there so basically there you have it we've looked at 11 different triggers so what do you trigger knowledge? Of course, there are so many other triggers, but I wanted this to be really short and actionable for you. And so when you join us on the training, on it's a full, almost an hour long training, but we go in depth looking at these things, the three steps these people use using this information, which is just one of the very first steps in achieving body repair. All you have to do is put in your details below your name, your phone number, and your email address, and you will be able to access that full webinar and also you would get the opportunity you get a chance to grab our triggers checklist where you actually go through the checklist yourself and find out how many triggers do you have like i said this is just these are just some of the triggers on the checklist so make sure you grab that as well and then you would see how these people have been able to do it and of course it's up i know you're probably wondering if this was so good why is it out for me just by putting in my details the truth is we discover some of these things through personal experience and my own experience was initially by working with my father where we were at a very very bad spot with his health but the good news is that today he's doing so well and i wish that someone somewhere would have given us access to this kind of information and so that's why it's available right now but we cannot guarantee that it will be available much longer so if you really want to have this so you don't have to spend that time the energy and the hundreds of thousands we spent just just to understand what he could do having to deal with four different cases at the same time so all you have to do to access this training while it's still available and if you're still seeing this is to put in your details below and i'm going to see you on the webinar where we talk all about what you can do with this information i'm going to see you bye thank you for watching